hello guys another LED TV with a broken backlight from Samsung to the left we have the main board and to the right the power supply and the LED driver this is the connector that goes to the LEDs We can measure the LED current on this blue wire here. The red and black probe measure the output voltage that go to the LEDs and the current probe, the current. When we turn the TV on we will have about 200 to 300 volt peak voltage going to the LEDs but no current. Forget about this noisy signal on the current probe and that's not really the current that goes to the LEDs it's just noise so we have to remove these cards first then these metal this metal bracket here and this little board here has to re has to be removed as well lift up the aluminum tape so now the front bezel is loose and can be removed turn the TV on its back and then you can just lift up the front bezel be very careful with this part and the ribbon cable and the metal frame here has to be removed so just uh, unscrew all these little screws here around the frame when this is done you can just lift up the the metal frame after that the LCD glass has to be removed since this is a small TV you can do this by yourself just grabbing the glass on both sides and put it somewhere safe after that remove the the plastic frame here that holds uh, the plastic sheets, the diffuser sheet. And once this is done, you will gain access to the LEDs. This is an edge lit TV. So the, the LEDs are here on the side. Unscrew the metal support. And then here under the microscope, we see that the LEDs have all overheated many of them are brownish or have cracked have a cracked surface so now we can either remove the whole strip or we can just remove the defective LEDs or, re or replace all LEDs that's up to you I'm replacing just the defective LEDs and later on we are gonna lower the LED current on the PCB on the power supply board in order to find out which one is defective we apply about 2.7 volt to each of them so this one here is the first one that's defective I found one, two, three, four five LEDs in all. I'm gonna take some LEDs from this strip here. In case you wanna buy them their dimensions are three millimeters by five millimeters and these are three volt LEDs. So remove these little screws and then the LED strip will come off. I always use a hot plate to remove single LEDs and to solder them back again too. It's very easy with a hot plate. We just put some solder paste on the 
on the pads on the on the PCB and then the LED on top wait for it to heat up and then it's just gonna go by itself you could use um, hot air from underneath too but I think this is the better option so after that is done all the LEDs have to be tested again last but not least I'm gonna lower the LED current here I put another resistor in series the blue one is the original and then I put another small resistor in series this one here now is uh, there's a jumper on it on the additional resistor and the current the original current we're gonna measure here the peak current is about 150 milliamps and then when I remove the jumper so I put another resistor in series this, re this resistor is um, used to measure the LED current then the LED current will go down to about 70 milliamps and it's still bright enough yeah this was it guys I hope it may help with your repair have a good day thanks